just like wow like that's all i can describe it as hey guys it's kaylee and today i'm going to be talking to you about my experience working with ariana grande at thank you next gen which is basically head counts collaboration with ariana grande to help people register to vote at her concerts so let me start off by talking about what Headcount is so head count is an organization that basically takes people's love for music and connects it to voting rights so they set up booths at these concerts and they actually help people sign up right then and there to register to vote. I saw that online a few months ago and I thought it was a really cool idea because I've always been into activism and also just music. So I went on the website and I just kind of looked up who they were working with and what concerts they were doing in New York and just wanted to see how I could get involved. And I saw that Ariana Grande had four shows on there. So I signed up for all four because I love her. The reason I went to the website was because I wanted to get involved with music and activism together. Then I saw Ariana Grande and I was like, oh my God, I love her, yes. <laughs> so I signed up for all four shows. I got picked for this one and I went by myself, but it was perfectly fine going by myself because I met a lot of cool friends doing it. And I was just really happy I got picked because I know a lot of people signed up for these shows. Like a lot of people did. I've gotten some questions on Instagram and Twitter, mainly in like my DMs, just asking a little bit about how I got involved and what it was like and if I recommended it to anybody. So I thought I would just make a quick little video talking about it because I haven't seen anything like this really on YouTube yet. So yeah, I got picked for the one show and I was really excited about it. Um, basically the day of, we had to arrive around 4.30 and the doors opened around seven. So we got there and we just kind of met up with everybody else that was um, doing high count. We started off mainly by just going through training. There were a couple of forms that actually needed to be filled out, obviously for people to register to vote. Um, so we went over those forms for about a half hour maybe and just made sure that we completely understood them because we can't really help other people register to vote if we don't fully understand it after we fully understood those papers we moved on to the fun part of the training i guess which is kind of just how to approach people to make them actually stop and want to listen to you the different ways that we could get people involved with the people that were already registered to vote we had a text system where we could tell all of them to text ariana to a certain number and it would sign them up for alerts so they would get notifications every time elections were happening so it was basically just a lot of training on just knowing what we were gonna do for the night after all that was done though we went and we took some pictures outside ariana had a really cool thing going on for pride month when i was here she had seven rainbow rings in the front of the arena which was really cool and then she had a mural with other like rainbow things so we went outside and took pictures with that for a little bit we went inside we took some pictures we took some boomerangs yeah it was basically just a picture time for a little bit so one of the cool things about working with headcount was that we got these cute little shirts I really like them. The back of it says the future is voting. I'll put a picture here because I don't really feel like <laughs> turning around right now. But yeah, I really like these shirts and they were super cute and we wore these throughout the whole duration of our volunteering shift. We were actually in the arena when sound check was going on, so we got to hear sound check. We weren't allowed to go into the arena when sound check was happening because people pay so much money for those seats and obviously we were busy practicing what we were going to do and training and like working like that's what we were here to do but it was really cool getting to hear sound check so the doors opened at seven and that's when everybody started coming in especially the kids that had been waiting outside for a while so around seven that's when it just a bunch of people were rushing in everyone was running to their seats like everyone was super excited and i feel like that was the hardest time to get people to stop and actually registered to vote. There were a lot of people that heard about Thank You Next Gen on Twitter. So they actually came over to our booth rather than us having to go over to them, which was pretty nice. And a lot of people were stopping by just saying like, thank you guys for doing this. Like it's amazing that Ariana is doing this and partnering to do this with all of her fans. And there definitely were a bunch of people saying no or like not really interested in it and they just wanted to get to their seats. But the people that did stop, it was really, it was really nice. Like the people that did actually appreciate why you were there. It was a really empowering experience. I think I personally got 10 people to sign up and overall my whole group got 72 people to sign up for the show, which was very nice. So basically we worked from seven when the doors opened until right before Ariana went on, which was around maybe like 9.15, 9.20ish. What happened with that was when we were done with our shift and we turned in all of the forms and made sure everything was official and took down the booth and all that, we were given tickets to the show. I was just excited to even see Ariana. Like I was really expecting a seat in the back. <laughs> I was expecting to just like be in the very back and just be jamming out. And like our seats ended up being 12th row. I was not expecting our seats to be as good as they were. So there were eight volunteers and 
our tickets ended up being split up, so it was four and four. Four of us went over to one, uh, one section and four of us went to the other, but they were directly across from each other, just on both sides of the stage. So we got down to our seats and I was so shook. I was just like, oh my God, like I am really like 12th row right now. Like Ariana's gonna be right there. And by the time we got to her seat, she was going on in like five minutes. So like, I was going nuts. Um, and I feel like it didn't even hit me that I was seeing her until that moment because I didn't even know where my seats were, first of all, but then also I was just busy working the whole rest of the time. And like, I wasn't even looking at the time on my phone. Like, I was just working. So by the time I got to my seat, I was just like, wow, like this is a, this is a real thing that's happening. <laughs> Ariana went on and she killed it. I was dying. Her set was amazing. Like, I was just, wow. <laughs> like, I was just, Wow, like I still can't like put it into words. Like her voice live is so good. I sat with three other people from my group, as I said before, and they were all really cool. I met a lot of good friends doing this. It was really fun. I also met some of the team leaders and they've inspired me to want to sign up with Headcount again because it was really fun. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about this. It was a really nice experience. I'm gonna put some pictures and videos and stuff up here so you guys can see all that. But I just got some questions so I thought I would make a video on this. If you have any more though, leave them below and I'll answer them in the comments. Also make sure you hit subscribe. I post a bunch of sign language covers on here, including some Ariana Grande songs. So if you wanna, wanna subscribe to me and go watch those, that'd be pretty cool. Give this a big thumbs up. And yeah, I definitely recommend working with Headcount. They were great, so. Yeah, bye guys.